Two-factor authentication is a way of adding additional layer of security to an application. So in addition to providing the standard email and password combination when logging in, users will be required to provide an additional authentication code before they are actually logged in. In this course, we will cover how to implement two-factor authentication in Adonis JS using authenticator apps like Google Authenticator and Authy. Before we dive right in, let me give you an eye overview of how this will work. From the account settings page or a similar page, users will be able to enable or disable two-factor authentication. Once a user enables two-factor authentication, the user will be prompted to provide an additional authentication code from the Authenticator app when logging in. The user will then be logged in only when the authentication code is correct. In addition to being able to log in using the code generated from the Authenticator apps, users will also be able to log in with a recovery code. Recovery codes are automatically generated once a user enables two-factor authentication. As the name implies, recovery codes are meant to serve as backup for when a user is unable to access their Authenticator app. Recovery codes are a kind of one-time passwords such that once used, they can't be reused. In fact, once a recovery code has been used, it will be deleted from the list of recovery codes. Also, users will be able to regenerate their recovery codes in case they lost their existing ones or need to regenerate new ones because they have exhausted their existing recovery codes. Of course, once two-factor authentication is disabled, users won't be required to provide an additional code and they can simply log in with just their email and password. So that is an eye overview of what we will be covering in this course. Join me as we get started in the next lesson.